Okay, in order to look at uh, the transient current effect through an inductance, uh, let's imagine this circuit. The switch is closed at t is equal to zero, and let's say i is equal to i is the current at after t is greater than zero and equals to. So if we write KVL here in the loop, uh, is the voltage drop here, uh, the voltage rise here, sorry and the drop across the resistance is Ri and we know that the drop across an inductance is given by this thing. So if we solve this differential equation we get I as E over R 1 minus E to the power R. You can write it like that. T, R and L. So this one, the coefficient of uh, T is R over L. Time constant is given by L over R. So time const constant of this one is like e to the power T over tau. So how the transient will decay or rise is given by in this case it will rise. So the current is something like this initially when the switch is closed because inductance the current was zero before it was closed so if this is t is equal to zero here before the close before the switch was closed current was zero since inductance doesn't allow the current to change instantaneously current will be zero right after that so t is zero here as well and here as well so slowly it will change like that and it will be a constant value afterwards which is e over r so inductance is initially acting as an open circuit and later on it is becoming short circuit because of this dc it is very much similar to the uh, voltage characteristics of the uh, uh, voltage across a capacitor we have seen that the capacitor, the voltage rises this way and the current actually becomes zero after a while. So capacitor becomes open circuit when t is infinity. So if we say that is after a significant time, capacitor becomes open circuit while inductance is becoming short circuit. We have seen that. So at t is equal to zero, the VL is equal to E over R and at t is equal to infinity vl is equal to zero similar t is equal to zero vr is equal to zero because current is zero and vr will become ir because the current is becoming r actually in this case since i is achieving this value e over r so vr is equal to e after a while so this is the similarity between capacitor and inductor. So capacitor is the energy stored, it's the electrical uh, energy, while in this case it's magnetic, magnetic energy. And as we see that if it were a capacitor, so the voltage across an inductance goes like that. So this is the characteristics of VL and this is the characteristics of IL. And similarly for capacitor this would be the characteristic of VC while this would be the characteristics of IC similarly exponentially decaying and exponentially rising and time constant in this case is L over R so the if L is more it will take more time to rise if L is less so inductance is uh, creating the delay creating the lag so with no inductance we would essentially have like that but because of inductance it is becoming delay so that's the time constant which is L over R. Sorry VL is E here that's VL and this one the voltage here VL starts initially at E and this one so it's not the same scale there's a voltage scale I've drawn it but uh, the time scale will be uh, the current scale will maybe here so the current rises up to E over R 
similarly and for capacitor we will have similar uh, uh, expression just the, its reverse uh, the voltage relation will be the current one of inductance and current will be the voltage one